370 is a part of the constitution where the president has a power to disapply the constitution. If he disapplies the constitution, how can a citizen complain? A resident of that state, 70 sub article 3 disapplying article 370 is at all amenable to fundamental rights question mark. I tell you, address your option for a, for a minute on that. 370 operates in a very narrow area, very narrow area. It operates in the context of the compromise formula put in place for Jammu and Kashmir at the time of accession and at the time of its integration into India, etc. Et of outside Kashmir could not say, why am I made subject to parliamentary legislation when this subject could an Indian complain? Could a person outside Kashmir, a fellow Indian, say that my fellow Indian there in Jammu and Kashmir has a right to property? If you take his property, you have to pay him full compensation. But if I am outside Jammu and Kashmir, take my property and you can show me the, a blank piece of paper. And the, the thing I can do in the context of a law made by parliament, if you say this is abuse of power or political legislation, it's an argument of competence, not a motive. That is not the Ajit Mills principle. Your Lordship knows when the first law was made, saying uh, if you collected illegal sales, sales tax, which is not chargeable, if you collected, you pay. The argument was this: this is colorable legislation because you are taking away. And this is Krishna's answer, Manad. I'll just give the page and para numbers: seventy-seven four SCC, page ninety-eight. Manad, this is attached to my note. Page. Right, this is attached to my notes starting from page six, uh, page four, sorry. And the relevant paras. But Mr. Salve, even if it is a legislative power, yes, as you say it is, and probably it is, it's amenable to judicial review on the ground of Article 14. A legislative power cannot be challenged on the ground of malapides. So you cannot exactly. say that Parliament did something because of a malafide intent, because you don't attribute malafides to a collective body of individuals. That's the reason for That's it. That's correct, Malat. More than that. Nagaraj, when they re reduced the age of retirement, uh, our court said you can't challenge uh, the reduction in the age of retirement on the grounds that Parliament was acting malafide, because it's a collective correct. body. Malafide is, is something which you attribute to an individual. More, more than that, Malat, your lordships have always said, where it comes to colorable device, supplementary, and all these, as it is not explained in this judgment, actually they started. That it is really a competence argument. Colorable, colorable exercise of power in Tulok, our court said. It really means that though competence. you are purporting to exercise power under one entry, you have yes. actually transgressed into another entry. So it's really a question of absence of power, legislative. It's a competence argument. It's a competence argument. Yes. And it's not the Wednesbury unreasonableness. Yeah. But equally, Article 14 would be attractive. Well, 14 be the test of Article 14. Well, 14 can have no application to an Article 370 sub Article 3 situation. Of course, legislative power, you can, if you make a rule which is plainly discriminatory, you can strike it down and violate it. Of course. Because the, uh, if, if Article 13 applies, if Article 13 applies, the whole panoply of uh, fundamental rights apply. But therefore, assuming that this is a legislative power, it is not immune to challenge on the ground of violation of fundamental rights. C correct. Fundamental rights, whether a 370 sub Article 3 disapplying Article 370 is at all amenable to fundamental rights? Question mark. I tell you, I address your option for a, for a minute on that. Because this is a relationship between the union and a unit of that union. We are now units part of that union. They may be parts of that relationship which create rights in favor of individual citizens. But well, if, if it affects an individual classical part of that, the provision of the on 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 the right of residence, an but, individual, for instance, can say that I and people belong to my class have the exclusive right of residence in this state. By bringing in others, you are affecting my right under Article 14. 
whether the substance or not is a different thing altogether but it's amenable to that challenge you can't say that the challenge is immune well not i i i would respectfully submit applying or disapplying the constitutional provision would not give a individual citizen a right because i'll tell you lot if i this takes us back to the basic principle of this is adjusting the accession now lot in international law for example a, a a citizen can never assert that i had certain rights under an earlier legal regime and now there is an accession those rights should be continued lot ships have rejected that consistent following the principle of international law you have only such rights as are available to you within the territory now in that if there is a discrimination you can challenge today i'm not how which constitutional regime will apply in jammu and kashmir is more in in one sense almost a constituent power So, but look, Article 14 challenge on the ground that I was a citizen, I was living in Kashmir. Nobody else was allowed to enter here. Now you've taken away my rights. That argument will not be open. That's quite apart from, of course, the submission of the solicitor that by the abrogation you expanded the panoply of rights which are individual, uh, which an individual in Jammu and Kashmir has. You are no, not. I'm not taking that. an extreme case. Can an individual come and say I had a right to live here, splendid isolation? You've taken away that right, and now all Indians have the rights which I earlier had as a special right. Your contention is that the residents' right to live in Jammu and Kashmir is not taken away. Nothing. Their rights are expanded by applying the whole of the Indian Constitution. Nobody has a vested right in a state of governance in that sense. And Sabat and Manat three seventy. is a part of the constitution where the president has a power to disapply the constitution if he disapplies the constitution how can a citizen complain a resident of that state as much as of outside kashmir could not say why am i made subject to parliamentary legislation when this subject in the state of jammu and kashmir is not and in fact malad we used to always used to always uh, i remember the late alta sahib he used to always have a little, little joke he says you people have lost the right to property we haven't and in marif continued the equivalent continued under the jammu and kashmir constitution we got rid of property rights now could an indian complain could a person outside kashmir a fellow indian say that my fellow indian there in jammu and kashmir has a right to property if you take his property you have to pay him full compensation but if i am outside jammu and kashmir take my property and you can show me the a blank piece of paper and there's nothing i can do 70 now leads to the abrogation of 191f in jammu and kashmir it does but which is not a part of the basic structure 191f has been has been held not it, it is not as much today if you are creating a larger equality the solicitor has developed this point you created a larger equality where is the question of violating 14 and individuals malot that principle must be extended Your lordships have dealt with this problem, where the argument was there were uh, prior leases. Your lordship said, "Sorry, post accession, you have what the law gives you. You have nothing else." Now, if post accession, no, actually, we need not really explore this line yeah, exactly. much for the reason that this might have impacts on other parts of the constitution. And that's why I'm not. I was the constitution which creates rights in favor of specific groups. Yeah, Manod, that is why I limited whether myself. Whether they are based on religion, whether they are based know, on caste, on marginalization. So to say that by obliterating that right, 
the you are not affected by a larger equality maybe marat 370 operates if we accept it in that broad no, no, marat 3 that is why i am saying 3 because i don't know what the ramifications no no marat 370 operates in a very narrow area very narrow area it operates in the context of the compromise formula put in place for jammu and kashmir at the time of accession and at the time of its integration into india etc etc and this power was kept to disapply this one provision this special arrangement now marat there is no equivalent in the constitution so we need to go marat the chief justice is saying the danger in getting into constitutional propositions in one context in making broader observations marat we don't know what you are trampling under foot for the future my limited submission was the principle of limiting delegation by statute which comes from article 14 can't apply this radical change is a reading down of the power to extend laws that point you made mr sarve yes, that that's the only point which i was making that's what, yes, that's, the second that's point, point i was making was restricted to that level there is no difficulty that's, no, that's all difficulty. and the second point which i was making was not that here abuse of power is really a power of competence and nobody is challenged the provision of clause 3 of article 7 370 that is which which malot in fact brings me part of the original constitution in fact malot which brings me to my next point and i am going quickly now because you all have seen the point 